Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll tell you how you can score 100 in mathematics. This is the last three months strategy that you can follow. So uh, I also scored 100 in my 12th boards. And if you are doubting me, I have also attached a screenshot of my mark sheet. So this is class 12th and this is my score. So I scored 100, all right. I think it's not something to brag about, but to assure you that yes, if you follow me, you will go to the right path. It's not like I'm just bragging, okay? So uh, your theory will be of 80 marks and 20 marks is your project work. When I was in 12th grade, there was no such project work. We had this 100 marks paper. So it was lengthy also. I remember when I gave my boards, I was panicking because only a few minutes were left. But thankfully, I did all the questions. All right. So section A is of 65 marks. Section B, 15 marks. You can go for section B or section C. I'll tell you what to choose. Okay. And yes, I've also launched an English language course for you guys. And I've also launched an English language course for you guys. Molly and I have taught in that course. Now this course covers the full syllabus of directed writing, your essay writing, grammar portion, transformation of sentences, prepositions, phrasal verbs, etc. And everything in this uh, course is according to the syllabus of ICSC. I'll be attaching the link of this course in the description box. If you want to buy, then you can do so. All right. Starting with the first uh, important topic that is calculus. So calculus is very important because if you just check out other chapters, a lot of questions are based on this calculus, differentiation or integration. Differentiation and integration, you have to master them. Please do all the formulas by heart, okay? Because these two chapters will help you out in solving application of derivatives, maxima, minima, then differential equations even section c has a part of it all right major part basically then you can attempt section b or section c so if you are preparing for j then my advice would be you should go for section b and if you are a commerce student or you want an easy section then you can go for section c it's a very easy section even i attempted this Okay, you have to learn a lot of formulas. That is um, the only thing that you have to do in this. Next is relations and functions. So uh, again, repeated questions are asked in your boards. Symmetric, reflexive, transitive, equivalence relation. Prove that it is an equivalence relation. You have to prove all these statements. So this is a repeated PYQ. If you check out the previous year questions, you'll come to know that all these questions are asked every year. Okay. Only the statement varies. So this question, if you just check it, they have asked you to prove this equivalence relation. Okay. So this is the structure that you have to follow. Then in functions, one, one function, one, two function, one, 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 two. You should be well aware about what is injective, surjective, bijective, okay? Sometimes they may ask you, prove that it is a surjective function. And if you don't know the meaning of surjective, then how will you be able to solve it? Co-domain range, these are very simple things. And I've already taught all these chapters uh, in my channel. If you just check out relations by AB Education Hub or functions by AB Education Hub, everything is covered from scratch. A lot of you have the potential to score 100 in mathematics but where do you lag in you lag in the uh, format process like you don't write the exact solution you are skipping every step that is wrong if there is a six marker question then you have to mention each and every step six marker means one or two pages all right and when it's a two marker question then in four to five steps it should be finished then you can skip if there is any shortcut applied. Now this question, they have asked you to prove this function as 1, 1, on to and then find the inverse, okay? <coughs> so, we have taken this fx1 equals to fx2 and we have solved it. Just uh, see the procedure. You have to solve it this way, okay? Without skipping any step. 
सो हेयर इट इज प्रूव दैट इट इज वन वन फंक्शन हेंस वी गेट देर इज ओनली वन इमेज ऑफ वन एलिमेंट बिलोंगिंग टू ए एंड द रेंज एंड द एक्सेप्शन इज ऑल्सो मैंशन फॉर ऑन टू लेट वाई इज इक्वल टू दिस फंक्शन देन सॉल्विंग इट हेयर वी गेट फाइव वाई इज नॉट इक्वल टू एट दैट मीन्स वाई इज नॉट इक्वल टू एट बाई फाइव दैट मीन्स वाई बिलोंग्स टू रियल नंबर एक्सेप्शन इज दिस अगेन इट्स प्रूव्ड दैट इट्स ऑन टू दैट मीन्स इट्स बाइजेक्टिव वन वन ऑन टू मीन्स बाइजेक्टिव ओके नाउ फॉर इनवर्स यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एन एफ इनवर्स वाई सो वी नो एफ एक्स इक्वल टू वाई एंड देन वी सॉल्व इट लाइक दिस सो दिस इज हाउ यू सॉल्व अ क्वेश्चन ओके दिस इज द राइट मेथड नाउ नेक्स्ट इज इनवर्स टिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शंस i would highly advise you to go back to your 11th textbook check out the chapter trigonometric functions learn all the formulas may be noted down in your notebook and learn all of them like sin 2x or 1 plus cos 2x what is the value of it so on then all the properties of 12th very simple to learn you can also maintain a formula register then learn the domain ranges of sin inverse x cos inverse x and tan inverse x mainly okay others are not that important now just have a look at the pyqs prove that 1 by 2 cos inverse 1 minus x divided by 1 plus x is equal to tan inverse root x here if i put x is equal to tan square theta sorry here if i put x is equal to tan square theta so this will be this portion cos inverse 1 minus tan square theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta now just tell me this is cos 2 theta am i right yes so cos inverse cos 2 theta will be 2 theta then we have to substitute the value of theta right so this is root of x is equal to tan theta here theta will be tan inverse root x 2 into tan inverse root x and there is this half in front of it so 2 and 2 gets cancelled and we get tan inverse x sorry for creating this mess you might not be able to solve this question if you don't know what value you have to substitute then next is tan inverse a plus tan inverse b plus tan inverse c is equal to pi that is 180 prove that a plus b plus c is equal to abc you will have to take uh, this here on the right hand side and then prove it these are the frequently asked questions so we have uh, diwali in uttarakhand today that is why the crackers are there in the background next is matrices again a very simple topic determinants and matrices important questions there are sum of symmetric and skew symmetric then martin's rule applying rows and columns operation you have to practice it okay probability i have seen people uh, are not able to solve questions on this because your basics are a little bit weak permutation and combination you should be aware about how to choose like they'll be asking you these many balls are in this bag so you have to transfer it so you'll have to brush up your basics the formulas of probability okay after you have completed it directly go to the pyqs the exercise questions are a little bit tough you will not be able to solve it so it's better to go with the pyqs at the end i'll just say after you completed all these things okay just revise all the formulas maintain a different register for it then move on to the pyqs try to solve all the questions and please suggest me if i should make a video course for 12th class